Okay, this bride has asked me if I could remove um, the three people from this photo, leaving just the couple. So I'm going to do a, a screen flow to show how I'm going to try to attempt this. There may be several ways of doing this. I'm going to use the Content Aware tool in Photoshop CS6. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is take the Magnetic Lasso tool and carefully outline my couple. I want to go right crisp to her arm because I don't want this, oops, because I don't want that to be fuzzy later. So I have zero feather and I'm going right next to her arm, right down the dress. And now that I've outlined her tight, tight and straight, <laughs> now I'm going to go all the way to the bottom of the photo, including the grass, um, up around my groom. And again, I don't want this part to be fuzzy later, so I'm going right close to his clothing and his arm. Okay. And then I can go up here. Okay, good. Okay, so then I'm going to edit, um, copy them out, file new, edit, paste. Okay, so I have my couple here that I'm going to use later, and then I have this image. Okay, so now I'm going to erase the other people by using... Let me get that out of the way. Um, the lasso tool. Not the magnetic lasso, just the lasso tool. And I have to left click and hold it down. I'm going to um, loosely circle this person. Okay. And then I'm going to right click, left click on fill, make sure the content says content aware, blending normal, opacity 100, and hit OK. She's going to disappear. Most of her should disappear. Okay. And let me. I'm just going to lasso this again. Right click, fill, content aware. And then whatever it doesn't, I can clean up with the clone tool. Now I'm going to take the clone tool, make my brush a little larger, click on this, and go in. Okay. Take this dark and go in here. Okay. And the bricks I'm going to bring right in. Okay, that looks pretty sweet. This I'm not worried about because I'm going to put their image over that. So, let's see. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Lasso tool. And I'm going to get rid of these gentlemen. Let's go across here. Right click, fill, content aware, normal 100%. Sorry, CS6 is a little slow sometimes, all the time. Okay, 
and you could see what it did. It's it's like picking out from the background what it thinks would look good there. And I'm doing the clone tool again. Okay, take the sidewalk. I gotta love Photoshop. I have a feeling this is gonna be pretty, pretty good when I'm done. Okay, and all I'm doing here is making a realistic background. It doesn't have to be exactly what it was because no one's going to be holding this next to the other one to uh, compare it. I am left clicking right where that line is. Sweet. Okay, then let me left click here. And then left click here, get rid of this line. Left click here. Okay, it's looking pretty good. Um, gonna alt left click here so I can clone that line all the way up. Take this. And uh, again, I'm using this the clone tool. So I have to hit alt on my Mac keyboard and then left click uh, what I want to copy. Left click and then I'm gonna copy that corner right to here. Let's see if I could line this up any better. Okay. I'm going to click here and bring it over here. Take this edge. Okay. Um, okay, I'm just trying to clean this up. Um, okay, let's see. And now I'm just working on the background a little bit. I'm going to turn the opacity down and just alt, clone tool, alt, left click this and just bring some of that darkness in here. Blend it in a little bit. Make it look like there's something further back there. Okay. Um, Okay, so now that I'm almost pleased with the background, I'm going to, let's see, go ahead and bring that up, make it look like there's another tree. Okay. Bring this down. Okay. I'm going to save this so far because I'm, I'm going to work on it more when I'm not recording. Okay, so now I'm going to move the couple onto this picture. I am clicking this, make sure I have the layer with them selected, move tool, take it, drag it on. And now I'm going to cover up their own bodies on here.
So that looks pretty good if I put them here. I need to cover up her fuzziness right here. So I actually might that looks good. I'm just going to enlarge them a little bit. Um, to do this, I did, did uh, free transform, which is command T or um, edit free transform. And then I hit the shift key down to keep the aspect ratio, click on the corner and drag it. Okay. There, and I just moved it um, to cover up any fuzziness. Okay, return. And now all I've left is to clean up my sidewalk down here. Clone tool. Gonna move the sidewalk. Oh, I had to flatten the layers. Okay, get rid of that bridesmaid's toe. Okay, this looks pretty good. This looks pretty good. Um, now I could take the blur tool and soften any edges I need to, but I'm gonna try to use the clone tool instead. So your arm looks a little bumpy. And that's because I used that um, magnetic lasso. So I'm just going to blur this edge a little bit. She should be happy with that. Okay, then this edge here I need to um, soften. So I'm using the clone tool, opacity 100. I'm just going to move this in. And I'm just using the clone tool to... And I don't, I don't want it to look doubled, so anything where it looks like it's repeating, obviously I need to fix. soft here. That's way too soft. I, I need to work on that close up. But basically, this is what we have. Um, the only thing else I'm going to fix, I have to fix the direction of these lines. Um, I just had to clean up this sidewalk, but the couple looks pretty good. I'm, I'm really happy with how that came out. Okay, so I'm just going to clean up um, some, some things that don't look real. I can also blur a lot of my background by uh, selecting the couple and then select inverse, filter, blur, and that G word and what that did it's blurring the background so it's not the harsh lines are gone if there's any 
and just to see the before the after. Bubble Guppy movie. You want the Bubble Guppy movie? Yes. Okay. So I'm going to keep it like that for now and stop the screen flow. I'll help you, honey.